Fast, pray, eat and cook. That's the only way to go. That's the only way to God's presence. So this morning, we have established that these altars are holy because we consecrated this building. We consecrated everything in here when Brother Charles came to New Year's Eve. I appreciate it so much, Miss Amanda sharing with me last week. She said, Brother Lee, when I went to the altar, something happened. She said, I had a greater desire to pray all week long. I had a greater desire to read the word all week long. Something happened at the altar of God. Now, if you come to this altar this morning to do business with God, God's going to need you. God's going to need you. How many of you believe that? Amen. I mean, you believe it, that this God is real. And that this God honors when you make a move, when you make a sacrifice. Some of you ain't even put up a sacrifice, get up out of the pew and walk down here. God ain't going to honor that. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you something all the preachers are going to tell you because they're afraid they'll make you mad. If you're too lazy and too sorry to get out of the pew and walk down and kneel at an altar and ask your God for something, you're not going to get it. Well, if God wants to meet my need, He'll meet it right back here. You prideful, arrogant thing, God resists the proud, but He gives grace to the humble. God will not meet your needs like that. You're arrogant. You're full of pride. You're too proud. I don't know what sister so-and-so might think of me. That's your problem. <laughs> That's your problem. If you're worried about sister so-and-so or brother so-and-so, what they might think instead of what God thinks, you got a serious problem. You're a man pleaser. And the Bible said that will end up in a bondage for you. It'll place you in bondage. The fear of man ends up in bondage. Amen. You need to be worried about what God's thinking about you. You need to be concerned about getting this altar this morning and crying out to God. God can fix things if you'll let it. Yes, but you're going to have to humble yourself. And you're going to have to ask God to move in your life. So this altar call is open for anything this morning. Whatever need you have, God can meet it at this altar. If you're backslidden, guess what? You need to get in the altar. You don't need me to lead you in prayer about coming back to the Lord. You need to get in the altar. You need to start begging God and saying, God, I am so sorry I walked away from you. I am so sorry I let my heart grow cold. I am so sorry that I've been disobedient to you, Father. I am so sorry that I've been lying and cheating and wrong to you. I am so sorry that I've allowed other gods into my life. And Father God, I repent. I'm coming home today. You don't have to tell me. You just need to tell God. If you got problems in your marriage, you need to get in the altar and say, God, I can't fix it. I've tried fixing it, and it can't be fixed. I mean, you're going to have to move. You're going to have to change my heart. You're going to have to change my husband's heart. You're going to have to change my wife's heart. You're going to have to change my kids' heart. I don't know what you got to do, but God, you're the only one who can. 